posters of local teenager Hamad Jibril Ramana, who was killed by Israeli forces in September, can be seen on walls all over the Amari refugee camp in the West Bank. They began to appear after his death. Locals say Hamas printed the posters to gain support in the West Bank by showing sympathy for his death. He was a vocal supporter of Hamas and, according to the IDF, Israel Defense Forces, was shot throwing a Molotov cocktail. Romana's father, Jibril Abdul Rahman Musa, says he was mourning the death of his son when Israeli forces raided his house and arrested his other son, Yahya, on December 13th. I heard knocking at the door and I opened it thinking it was Yahya, but the Israelis were there with their guns ordering me to step back. I told them I was not moving because I wanted to see my son, but he threatened to shoot me. I wasn't afraid. Then he slapped me in the face and pushed me back inside. He says they took his son away and he hasn't heard from him since, with no explanation of why he was taken. Asked why he was arrested, IDF officials referred VOA to Israeli intelligence services who did not respond to requests for comment. Since October 7th, the Israel authorities say they have adopted a zero-tolerance approach to support for terrorism. Some have been arrested for social media posts showing sympathy with resistance groups. Expressing support for designated terrorist groups like Hamas can lead to detention without trial for Palestinians. But Musa says with his sons gone, he doesn't care anymore. He speaks openly of his support for groups resisting the Israeli occupation. Most here are less vocal, but support for Hamas has risen from 12% before October 7th to 42% in December, according to a poll by the Palestinian Centre for Policy and Survey Research, a think tank that often publishes polls showing diminishing support for the Palestinian Authority and has drawn criticism from the Palestinian leadership. Media representatives, analysts and residents in the West Bank told VOA they agree there has been a major leap in support. The increase in support for Hamas uh, is mostly due to the, the fact that uh, for the first time in a while there has been a um, change in the status quo. Many Palestinians say the PA, which was created in 1994 under the Oslo Accords and now administers much of the West Bank, has failed to bring about a solution to the conflict while becoming increasingly autocratic. The same poll says 90% in the West Bank now think its president, Mohammed Abbas, should resign. <laughs> We hope the war stops in Gaza and we can have elections to change the leadership of the Palestinian Authority. There are good people in the Palestinian Authority, but they are not active. The poll suggests many now favor Hamas, whose founding documents once called for the destruction of Israel and its more militant approach to solving the conflict over the Palestinian Authority and its perceived inaction. The survey found that since October 7th, 70% of Palestinians polled in the West Bank say they now support armed struggle against Israel. All this Israeli violence leads people to think seriously about how to get rid of the Israeli occupation, which is impossible. Thus it leads people to follow any movement that is resisting the Israeli occupation, either Hamas or others. Gunmen sent by Hamas, which the US and other countries consider a terrorist organization, killed more than 1,200 people when they attacked communities in Israel on October 7th, sparking the ongoing conflict. Henry Wilkins, VOA News, at the Amari refugee camp in the West Bank.